This is a quick movie uh, just showing you how to do some wound healing inside Image Pro. Uh, we just open up a wound healing image. This is pretty classical. Most wound healing images tend to be uh, phase and they tend to all have illumination issues. This seems to be the standard problem I have. So you can set up your microscope with color illumination, which can be found on the web, or we can just do from the count size dialog, flatten background, bright background. Okay, that seems to even everything out. So now, Ideally, what we want to have is a binary image. We want to have cells, white gap, cells. So if we try to do a threshold on this, we have the problem of the fact that we can't segment out our wound in the middle because the phase effect doesn't allow us to do that. We still have the holes inside our objects at the same grayscale value as the center. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do something called a large spectral filter and that's going to effectively put an edge on to everything that we're looking at and that can be a positive or a negative edge so just press apply okay and now if I just brighten up my image you can see what we've got here and what I'm actually going to do here is next I'm going to try and connect all of these objects up together by using a close filter and you can see a close with an 11 by 11 circle is a nice big close filter that's really going to join everything together as a solid object now, what I'm going to try and do is threshold. Now, you can see here I've got my objects. I have the center. And what I could do is I could try and just segment like that. But I've still got these two little holes here. So I'm actually going to reverse segment. I'm going to segment the middle out. Now, why does this give me an advantage? Well, if I press count now, I have my middle object, which is my actual wound. And I have the other objects here. Now the other objects, these small little defects, are always going to be smaller. So I can just say, get rid of things that are below a certain size by just going edit, filter range. And now if I just say, make a mask, there is my wound. Pretty straightforward. So I can just do, you know, an area count on this, or I could use, I could convert a whole movie on this, and I could use something like a caliper tool. Uh, so measure and caliper. And I could draw a line across this in several points. And I could just look at the rising point and falling point of inflection. So new uh, rising point of inflection. And that marks all the A's. And new falling point of inflection marks all the B's. And then I just set up to make measurements off each of those. And I can play through the movie and it gets smaller. Or alternatively, I could just do uh, a, uh, a count. Uh, so measure select measurements and I could just do a actually now I don't want to do that I want to just do a range one range two count without fill holes on count Ooh, nice so what have I got here ah, I need to change the color of the second one there we are Cool. View range statistics. So 55% were in so on. So we could monitor the percentage gain over time. Even I have to remember how to do these things sometimes. Okay. Cool. I hope that helps. Um, again, that's a pretty straightforward way of doing it. Um, basically. Also, if you actually, if you want me to see it, let me just delete this, uh, delete this other one and we'll just count and we'll save these outlines. And we'll save them just as an outline file. I just replace that and we'll get the original image and we'll put the outlines on. Load outlines and options. And I'll just show you those as outline. And you can see that I've done a pretty good job of getting those major cell walls there. Okay, I hope that helps. If you need any more information, please contact uh, technical support or your local dealer or sales office. Okay, thanks.